The Kingdom of Swaziland will strengthen its wind and solar power generation programs. This was said by the Minister for, for Natural Resources and Energy, Jabulile Mashwama, when launching the wind and solar hybrid project at the Kuba High School. In an effort to decrease the power dependency on South Africa, the Kingdom of Swaziland continues to upscale her power generation efforts. The country is also keen on using clean energy sources like wind and solar. The Tikuba wind and solar hybrid system that has been launched by the Minister for Natural Resources and Energy, Chablile Mashwama, is evidence enough that Swaziland is striving to have a more energy secure situation. Speaking at Dikub High School through the Principal Secretary in the Ministry of Natural Resources, the Minister for Natural Resources and Energy, Chabi Lemashwama, said Swaziland wants to explore wind power production. This site located on the Lubombo Plateau has great potential for the development of a wind power generation farm in the country. The Ministry continues to measure wind speeds using a measuring station at the Matanjeni North Inghundla Center, where wind speeds are measured up to 50 meters above ground, and solar irradiation is measured at 2 meters above ground. It is envisaged that the ongoing data collection, as well as this pilot project, will generate knowledge and inform investors who are interested in developing more wind farms in the kingdom, particularly in the Lubombo Plateau. Wind energy is one of the clean energy sources the country wishes to develop in order to diversify the country's energy mix and further increase the country's generation capacity. The pilot project will generate 4 kilowatt of power to be used by Tikuba High School. Kubuta member of parliament, Kinab Teles, applauded the European Union for bringing the meaning to the tech development partner. Ours is to welcome such a relief in our power crisis as a country. We very much welcome such an initiative and we are very grateful to have it within our constituency. I wouldn't want to assume it's because I'm chairperson of the energy portfolio, but simply because the location, the wind conditions here were most suitable for this pilot project. To your colleague, we, we do hope that this kind of initiative will go a long way in bringing a solution to our biggest challenge as a country, being 90% dependent to our neighboring country, South Africa. EU Ambassador Nikolai Pelom said the road to Swaziland's energy sufficiency has started to develop a mix of renewable, being this wind, uh, solar, biomass through the uh, sugarcane uh, bagasse and the leftover on the timber industry. And this, unfortunately, was not really on the, on the radar screen of the government. Now, I, I'm happy to, to say to note that we're not talking about the future, we're talking about the present. And also thanks to this uh, uh, project, I hope that the, uh, the government and the also the parliament and I, I really uh, uh, appreciate and welcome the presence of member of parliament because I think what is needed now is a strong national vision on renewable energy. In this project the country is partnered with Ecolibri, an Italian company.